here, and today we have a full body workout. It's going to be cardio strength and abs. Remember to go at your own pace. Every exercise will be 45 seconds on with 15 seconds rest, and it's going to be all body weight, so no equipment required. So that means you can do a dish workout anywhere. All right, so let's get warmed up. Roar. All right, guys, let's start out nice and easy by bouncing it out, and then add in some arm movements, pretending you have a jump rope. So getting those arms warmed up, getting that body warmed up. Three, two, one, and butt kickers. So think about driving your knees in front just a little bit. And that way you can bring up your feet back. Remember to keep your core nice and strong through all of these movements. Three, two, one, and feet out wide. We're going to sink down side to side, adding some nice mobility for those legs, for those hips. Keep it going. Remember, sound effects make everything better. Three, two, one, and go ahead, bounce it out, jumping jacks. Remember, you can tap it out to the side instead. That's how you're okay. Just try to jump those feet out. If you do, jump those feet out. Real nice and wide. Gotta make sure our heart rate comes up so that way when we get into the workout, it's not too much of a shock for that body. We can really give it our all. Three, two, one. All right, go ahead. Shaky, shaky. Walking it down into a plank position. So we're gonna start to warm up that upper body a little bit more. Hands under the shoulders. We wanna press back and then bring it back into a plank. So down dog, bring it back into that plank. Getting the shoulders. You want to think about pressing palms and fingertips into the ground. Keep it up. So two more. Last one. And stay here in a down dog. Go ahead, bicycle out the feet. So now we're getting the calves because we will be doing a bit of plyometrics today. But remember to modify and listen to your body if you need to. Some days it just needs a little bit of less jumping. <laughs> Three, two, one, and shift it back forward. We're gonna take our right foot, bring it to the outside of that right hand, and then open up that chest and keep it alternating. Take your time. This isn't a rushed movement. If you go slower than me, that's totally okay. I don't recommend going faster than me though. Because we wanna make sure Getting nice and stretched out and staying warm and keeping that form. Let's go one more on the other side. And go ahead and meet your feet together. Slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. And go ahead, shake it out, crisscross those arms. Really think about squeezing that back and opening up that chest. Because I bet a lot of you have tight, tight chests. That's really hard to say. Tight chest, tight chest, tight chest. <laughs> Keep going. Three, two, one. All right, feet out wide. We're going to kick across that body. Exhale every time you crunch across that body because I really want you to focus on getting that crunch for your core. This is really important to warm up that core. Get it ready for all of the fun stuff to come. Go four more, last three, two, one, and go ahead, stabilize on that right leg. From here, bend the knee slightly, and we're gonna do some semicircle swings. So try not to grip the ground with your toes. Woo! Don't be afraid to use your arms and then take your time. Now, the faster the swing, the more challenging it's gonna be. Make sure you keep your core nice and strong. Keep stabilizing, three, two, keep stabilizing here, and we're just gonna do some side leg lifts really quick. On this same side, so really think about squeezing right here, getting that medius, that gluteus, medius, that always sounds like a Harry Potter spell. Two more, last one. All right, go ahead and stabilize on the left leg this side. Oh my goodness, well, this is gonna be fun. Slight bend of the knee, and bring it around time. Again, keep your core strong. 
You can focus on a non-moving object in front of you to help you. Make sure you're breathing. It's really easy to hold our breath while we're stabilizing. But we don't want to do that. Oh no. <laughs> Three, two, one more. One, and go ahead, stabilize, leg lift. Really think about squeezing if you need a touchdown between, that's okay. We got one more move and then we're gonna get into that warm up. Or sorry, cool. Ah! That workout. We're done. Three, two, one. All right, gotta shake it out. We're gonna finish up with some skaters. So now you know it's real time, baby. Because I make some goofs with my words. Even though English is my first and pretty much only language. Don't let this Asian face confuse you. <laughs> or trick you. <laughs> Keep going. We got four, three, two, one, and let's get started. All right, guys, 15 seconds. We're gonna get right into it. Starting out, we have a jumping jack, side jump, jumping jack, and side jump. So nothing too crazy, but we're starting to work more laterally. As well, as in front. Okay, three, two, let's go. So jumping jack, side jump. fun flow to it. I like it. Remember to go at your own pace and if you need to do a side step instead and tap out, that's totally okay too. Keep it up guys. Up. Keep your core nice and strong. Getting that heart rate. We have a stabilizing move after this, which is really fun to do after cardio. All right, so stabilize. I keep burping. Single leg deadlift. Stabilize on one leg, slight bend in the knee. You're gonna sink down, come up, three pogo hops in place. So it requires quite a bit of stability. Keep your core strong, keep your chest up. You wanna keep it as parallel to the ground as possible when you come down. So, I'm just showing you different angles. Sink down, come up, one, two, three. Take your time in this movement. You can always come up to the tippy toe instead of the ball of the foot if the hopping is not for you. Woo. Keep going, just remember, we don't want to lead with our upper body. You want to hinge from the hips. So even if you want to put your hands right on your hips and press into them, so it reminds you to hinge there so we feel it in the back of the leg. All right, so before we go to the other side, stabilize on the right leg, which is what we just stabilized on. Chest forward, you're gonna sink down for a curtsy, come up, figure four squat. Fun. <laughs> All right, let's spread out that leg. So curtsy, stabilize, figure four, come up. Curtsy, stabilize, figure four. If the figure four isn't available to you, you can do a back lunge instead. We're really getting that right leg and that glute. Keep it going, guys. This one's so fun. Woo. If you saw my transformation on my Instagram, where it was like this before, that was crazy. <laughs> so if you're not flexible now, just know it is possible to get flexible. <sighs> All right, so next up, we're gonna go back to single leg deadlift, three pogo hops on the other side this time. So get ready for that burn. This doesn't stabilize, there you go. Three, two, one, and keep your core strong. Hinge from the hips, bend the knees slightly, Come up, one, two, three, four. I just added a pogo hop. I made it four. Oh well, <laughs> do three or four. Totally up to you. I guess I just wanted to be a bunny today. <laughs> but that's every day. 20 seconds. Keep stabilizing. I love adding balance into our workouts because it's so important and so functional to work especially as we get older three 
two, one. All right, nice job, guys. So we're going to go back to the curtsy and figure four. Fish time. I don't know what that was. What was that? That was my active rest. All right, so step it back. Get ready. Three, two, one. All right, so sing down. Come up. Figure four. Take your time in this movement. It's not about speed. It's not about rushing it. It's about that nice control. Your glutes are going to start to feel this. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Remember to stabilize first. So if you're wobbly, don't add in the next movement. But instead, breathe. Get situated again, even if you need to tap down. And then get in the movement. We don't want to cause injuries here. Three, two, one. All right, so next up, bounding forward. If you don't have room, you're going to do side to side skaters just like we did in the warm up. But if you do have room, you're going to pretend there's platform to platform. Side jumping. All right, let's go. So lateral movements, big movements. Side to side, pretend you are like Lara Croft, and you're going boulder to boulder, and your glutes are going to burn after what we just did. This is fun. This is so fun. Pop. Keep going, guys. Almost there. Ten seconds. See how much that gets our heart rate up. Three, two, one. Okay. So next up, three switch lunges, single leg inch work. So one, two, three, crawl into an inch work, and then bring it back. And then you should be on the other leg then. One, two, three. Crawl it forward, keep your core strong, bring it back, sink all the way down. Make sure your back is flat, chest is up, and you sink down mid foot to heel on that front leg. Form above speed. So make sure you sink down all the way. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. Woo. All right. <laughs> Next up. Woo. So if you want to use a mat, I don't have one with me right now. I'll get that a little bit. We're going to roll back, muff, tiptoe. Roll back. If you can't do that, you're going to reach through. Tuck in your knees and reach. So this is working our coordination, our core, our calves. Use something plush in back of you if you need to. Use that momentum. This is just fun. Try something new. I think that's the biggest thing when going into my workouts at least, is to be an open-minded to moving your body in really fun and different ways. Challenging yourself. All right. I love rollbacks. Okay. <laughs> that was really nerdy of me. Come into a plank. Here, drive your knee in. Three-legged dog, so come into down dog, except you bring your leg up and then twist. Switch. Knee in. Three-legged dog. And twist. You keep your hands exactly where they are. So you're not walking them back. This is getting shoulders, core, coordination, balance as we take one limb out. Whew. It's making us super aware of our bodies, which I think is important. Because, you know, we kind of live in them 24-7. <laughs> Kind of important. Less than 10 seconds, guys. Stay with me. Whew. Three, 
two, one. It's also a nice stretch for a hamstring on the other side. Okay, so if you can't do this with room, your squat jump up only. We're going to do squat jump forward and then up, okay? Probably turn. Back is flat. Try to sink down to at least 90. Forward. And turn. Notice how I take my time. Keep going. Almost there. And turn. 14 seconds. Oh my goodness. Three, two, one. All right, guys. Next up, we're gonna pretend we're in basketball. So, like Ross Geller, you're gonna pivot, bring it up, shoot that free throw. Pivot. I actually had a dream last night that I was playing basketball. All right, so, pivot. I'm used to in grade school. That's about the extent of it. Pop. Remember, take out the jump if you need to. Come to the tippy toes. Instead, we got that squeaky floor. Hey, just like a basketball game. There's always that one squeaky shoe person. <laughs> Keep rocking it, guys. Oh my goodness. Four, three, two. That was fun. Okay, so next up is about control using that core. So you're gonna bring one knee up. One, two, three. Step that leg out. Side lunge, bring it up, switch. One, two, three. So it's not about speed for those high knees. One, two, three, it's about control. Keep your back flat, chest up. This leg stays straight. And you wanna think about placing that weight in that midfoot to heel. Crazy movement. Whew, I 
keep burping. I'm so sorry. It's so rude of me. Okay. Oh, this one's fine. Okay. So what we're going to do here, drive your knee up just like we did in the warm up, but you're going to kick your other leg through, bring it back. If you have it down, you're going to flow with it. Step, hop, one, two, step, hop, one, two, step, hop. This is working coordination, core. I want you to learn how to control your body. I want you to be super soft with those steps. Remember not to collapse into your shoulder. Remember to rewind this if you need to. But it's so fun once you get it down. And it feels kind of like you're break dancing. just bringing my knee to my elbow but I'm also popping up and giving that oblique at the top and notice how I'm extending back so I elongate my side inhale exhale it's a lot to think about but this is an awesome movement for those obliques Ooh. oh my goodness Keep going, guys. Ladies, do you ever just want to like shake your head? <laughs> Sometimes I'm tempted to. <laughs> Keep going. All right, other side. But then again, I had alopecia. I had a little bald spot. <laughs> they think it comes from stress. Now, it made sense because I was very stressed out at that time. But, but if you have that, know that you're not alone. And then I have that too. And the hair grows back most of the time, so it grew back. Now I have this like really short little bunch. It's so funny. It's like growing out my side cut again, but a little bit less awkward because I can hide it. <laughs> Keep going, guys. It's nothing to be ashamed of. It's just our body's way of telling us that something's out of whack. So it really made me concentrate I'm taking care of myself more mentally and taking the time to decompress instead of go, go, go. Whew, three, two, okay, so next up, oh my gosh, so much hair. Okay, come on, cat. <laughs> We're gonna go down, down, up, up, side plank. And then you're gonna alternate the side plank that you go to. Try to keep your hips from swaying here, another option is to come to the knees. Just make sure your hips are forward, they're not, you're not booty popping, okay? There's a time and place for booty popping, and right now is not the time. <laughs> Any time after this, then yeah. <laughs> oh, what time is it? Oh, it's booty time o'clock. Booty popping o'clock. <laughs> Keep going. 12 seconds. How is it that when you look at some people's workout videos online, they're just not sweating. I'm like, am I the only one that's like a sweat? 
front monster. There's one of my CrossFit videos. So funny, I was looking back at. We have swimmer's nest. Opposite arm, opposite hand. And at the end of it, my makeup is just like a mess. It is half off, dripping, so gross. And my reaction was, yeah, <laughs> I had a good workout. <laughs> you go. A lift. Real time, baby. This is our last move. It's really important to work that lower back. I know I say it a lot, but it needs to be said over and over until I drill it into your guys' brains because I know a lot of people don't work it and we need to, to create a nice, healthy, balanced core and to help our posture and to help with every movement that we do. And that's it. That's my story. <laughs> Yay, we did it. You guys did it. We completed our crazy, awesome workout for the day. Thank you guys so much for joining me. We are going to cool down now. So if you do have to go, please do like the video before you go and leave a comment. Both of those things help out my video so much. So if you can stay, let's do it. We're going to go ahead and start out with our feet straight out. Shaky, shaky. And try to have a nice flat back. Reach, keeping that flat back. You don't have to reach for the toes if you can't reach that far yet. And then once you are as far as possible, go ahead, collapse into it. Go ahead, bring it back. Let's lay down. <laughs> Let's do that. Go ahead, grab your knees and make a circle to massage that lower back that we just worked. Get that breath back to normal, and then go the other way. Go ahead, stop center, drop that left leg. Keep the right knee in the chest and pull, breathe. And from here, we're gonna bring that knee to the outside, opening up that hip. And try to keep both hips on the ground. Breathe here, gain that inner thigh, gain some mobility in here. Let's cross it over with the opposite side hand. Right arm to the right, look over that right shoulder. It's gonna feel real nice for those, those booties. Give me booties and the spine. Breathe. Go ahead, bring it back to center. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Bring it in. And breathe. You guys did amazing today. I hope that's exactly what your body needed. I hope that you listen to your body too. And go ahead, bring that knee to the outside. Because some days, you know, it's a little bit more flexible. Some days it feels a little bit stronger. Just know that every day is different and that's totally okay, you know? Go ahead, cross it over. Some days, you know, you'll, you'll do so, so good. And some days you'll be slugging, slugging on. And that's life, baby. That's showbiz, baby. <laughs> it happens. There are days where I record and I'm like, wow, I feel like trash. <laughs> but it must be done. And go ahead, bring it back to center and down. Roll it over. And then some days, like yesterday in my workout, I was like, I feel it. I just want to try so hard. <laughs> hands by the chest, elbows in, press up. Walk the hands forward. And whenever I have those days, I take advantage of them. I just go ham. Vegan ham. <laughs> I go bring it down. Hands by the chest. So some of you are like, what? I'm vegan. That's why. Knees out wide. Big toes together. Sit back. Child's pose. <sighs> If you guys ever wonder what I eat in a day, I do have a few vlogs. The most recent one I did though is um, definitely more accurate to what I eat like now. I feel like I should do another one soon, to be honest. I think that'd be really fun. And go ahead, knees together, curl the toes underneath, push those hips back, straighten out the legs, and then get those feet about hip width. Relax the neck, we're gonna release the lower back, and grab opposite side elbows, rock it. Let me know though, because if I do a what night eat in a day, I'm always lost on like what else you guys want to see in that vlog. 
like what is she what is she <laughs> so that way i can spice up my vlog always i feel like i'm like is this just boring to people i just don't know <laughs> and bring it back to center so let me know in the comments below slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time let your neck be the last thing to come up Ooh, roll the shoulders oh baby Left arm across the body and pull over that left shoulder. Breathe. Mm. It's a good day to have a good day. <laughs> Go ahead, other side. I've been journaling um, right in the morning and just saying, you know, things that I'm grateful for and things that I'm going to do for this day and then things I want to achieve. And, my goals, and it's really, really helped to center myself. Let's shake it out, so I highly recommend. 10 out of 10, I recommend. <laughs> okay guys, clasp the hands in front, pull the shoulders in, big inhale up, and exhale. Oh, gosh, 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 gosh. We are done for today, Good. We did it, you guys did it, we completed a crazy, awesome, full body workout for the day. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and please do like the video before you go. I'll give you a second, tap it. It really helps me out, and also if you leave a comment, even if it's just a RAR, um, not only do I love seeing that and interacting with you guys, but also it really helps out my videos do better, because YouTube is like, people like it, there's activity, and then they give it to more people. It's like, yeah. <laughs> um, and then if you do want to support my channel even more, I have a link down in my description. It says support my channel with an arrow. Uh, anything and everything is greatly appreciated. So thank you guys again so much for taking the time to work on you with me. I think that's, it's very much of an honor. So thank you guys for sharing your time with me and I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Okay. Roar.